This is one of the AP physics questions that was posted on College Board. Um, pause it, read it, try to solve it, and then watch the video. I'm not sure if it's one of the FRQs, but it was posted on College Board as FRQ for a study guide for um, AP exam questions. So, 120 volt power supply is connected through a 20 amp fuse to a circuit in which a coffee maker is connected to in parallel with a toaster. When each device is individually connected to a 120 volt power supply, the coffee maker dissipates energy of, at the rate of 300 watt, and the toaster dissipates energy at the rate of 1000 watt. The fuse is a safety device in which a wire is of neglectable resistance will melt and break the circuit when the current through it exceeds um, 20 amps called blowing the fuse for a part and they give you the elements um, for a part using the symbols above draw a circuit diagram below showing the power supply the fuse and the two appliances so they say a power supply is connected through a 20 amp fuse so you have the power supply then you have a fuse And then you have a coffee maker and the uh, toaster connected in parallel. So you have the coffee maker. And the toaster. Connected in parallel. So coffee maker and the toaster, the fuse and the power supply. For B part, they say calculate the current through the fuse when both appliances are operating at the given energy rates. So your power supply is 120 volt. So this one is 120 volt and the fuse is 100, um, when the device is individually connected to the 120 volt, the power in the coffee maker dissipates energy of 300 watts. So coffee maker is 300 watts. And um, the toaster, so coffee maker 300 watts and the toaster is 1000 so the toaster is 1000 so if I want to calculate the current through the fuse I can use the power formula so the power is equal to IV the voltage you have the power you have so you can find the current the current is equal to and we need the current with both appliances, correct? So we have um, the power that's for coffee maker divided by the voltage and the voltage they are connected in parallel so they share the same 120 volts um, by the voltage and is equal to Power is 300, voltage is 120, so it is 10 over 4, which is 2.5 amps. And then the current through the toaster is also the power over the voltage. The power for the toaster is 1000. And the voltage is 120. I can cancel one, one of the uh, one of the tens here, and then it gives you 25 over three. It 
which is 8.3 amps. So the, um, the current, the total current, the current that is leaving the battery, this current is equal to the sum of those two. So it looks like it's going to be 10.8 amps. For the next question, they ask you calculate the resistance of each appliance when operating at given energies. So I can use, um, again, the power is equal to I squared R. And I know the power, so I'm going to calculate for the coffee maker first. So I already know the power for coffee maker is 300. I know the current through coffee maker is 2.5. Squared, and I'm looking for the resistance for the coffee maker. So I have the resistance is equal to 300 divided by 2.5, and that is equal to 48 ohm. And the same we can do for the next one. The power for toaster is 1000. The current is 8.3, the one that we just calculated. So this one is 8.3 squared. And this was on the coffee maker resistance, coffee maker resistance, and this will be toaster. So the resistance of the toaster is equal to 14.5 ohm. For D, they say calculate the maximum power rating of a hair dryer that could be operating in a parallel with the other two appliances without blowing the fuse. So the maximum current that you can have through the fuse is 20 amps. You already have um, current that goes through here is 2.5 that we calculated in B and then the current that goes over here is 8.3 that we calculated so let me maybe write it right here we had 2.5 amps and 8.3 amps and let's read right here so it will be easier to um to follow so i have the power supply i have um coffee maker looks like this and then I have a toaster and then I have to connect um, the hair dryer I'm just gonna connect look at like the, oh actually let's do a different shape I'm gonna make something like this the hair dresser so the hair the hair dryer and so we said the current that goes this way is 2.5 the current that went this way is 8.3 so the current that's left here and your fuse is over here so you cannot have more than 20 amps of fuse so if you have 2.5 amps going here and 8.32 amps going there, then 9.2 amps left to go over there. So your power is equal to IV, and you're trying to calculate the power on the hair dryer. So I is 9.2, and the voltage is 120 because they are parallel connected still. So they all share the same two points that go to the battery. So this is the power. And then your power is going to be equal to 11.04 watts. And the last part, they ask you, can the co coffee maker and toaster be connected in series with the power supply without blowing the fuse? Um, when they are turned on. 
So it's coffee maker and the toaster. We know the toaster resistance and we know the coffee maker resistance. So if we connect them in a series, we would have the coffee maker and the toaster. And then we would have the power supply and the fuse. So the coffee maker is 48 ohm. The power supply is 120 volt. And the toaster is 14.5 ohm. Then the current through the circuit would be equal to 120 divided by 48 plus 14.5. And that is equal to 1.92 amps. Also, when you connect um, something in parallel, like in this case, when we have the coffee maker and we have, um, I'm drawing in the picture where the circuit is. So the coffee maker and the toaster the total resistance of the circuit is smaller than the smallest and the smallest of two is 14.5. So the total resistance is less than 14.5, but the power supply is 120 volts. So what you are dividing is 120 volts by the number just slightly smaller than 14.5 and um, or smaller than 14.5. But here, when you connect um, them in series, you add them, and the total resistance is bigger than the largest one. So that means your resistance, every time you connect things in series, will always be larger. And therefore, um, the current through the fuse would drop, and we see it from our calculations. So yes, you could connect um, your coffee maker in the toaster in series and not blow up the, the fuse.